Well, good afternoon to you, and thanks so much for joining us here on Live at Five. I'm Dana Winkleplack. And I'm Mike Tank. Today we have more on the ongoing fallout from racist incidents at a Vigo County House, excuse me, a Vigo County High School. An investigation at West Vigo High School started about two months ago. At last night's school board meeting, the interim superintendent said that some staff members are currently receiving discipline for failing to report incidents. Will Price says those, de those details and what the school says is going to do to avoid a similar situation in the future. Will. It was the second meeting in a row where residents demanded transparency and accountability as a result of the investigation. When detailing a number of changes the school corporation is making, Balatevich said numerous students and staff members will be punished. And the corporation plans to make sweeping changes going forward. All that's been asked for has been simple accountability, starting with the students, on up to those who knew about it, let it go on, and nothing happened. Those are the words of Reverend Terry Clark. Last night, he was joined by over a half dozen others who addressed the situation, many echoing his concerns. When addressing the crowd, Interim Superintendent Tom Balatevich provided some details on what went wrong, mainly a failure to properly adhere up the chain of command when receiving reports. Evidently, the favorite approach among staff and coaches is to address all issues of this nature primarily through conversation with students, followed by a warning not to engage in behavior again, or else there will be consequences. Balatevich says all West Vigo staff will undergo training on how to handle these issues, saying the lack of discipline caused the problem to continue to worsen. This training was focused on moving away from the Lone Ranger approach. This approach was endemic with this entire saga. Issues that were reported by students to adults and never made it to the school administration. In terms of where the investigation stands, Balatevich says numerous students were suspended and some recommended for expulsion. The corporation has hired an independent officer to hold hearings on potential expulsions, part of due process rights. He says they are currently handing down punishment to staff members who failed to report, a critical step in regaining trust Balatevich acknowledged has dwindled. In addition, we are administering disciplinary action for current staff members that did not act responsibly or appropriately. Only by holding those responsible can we begin to rebuild this trust. Now we reached out to the school corporation to see if we could get additional comment from the administration today. We were told they will host a meeting tomorrow on how they plan to implement it, implement the changes they talked about last night. Dana. All right, thanks so much, Will.